Hello everyone and welcome to this week's YA program. This week we're going to be doing the Melted Crayon paintings. If you are interested in doing this project, please stay tuned. Alright, so for this project you're, all you're going to need is a canvas board, your crayons, and a hair dryer. Super, super simple. You can also use acrylic paint um, for a little bit of the ending part if you wanted to, but we're definitely not at that step yet. So, I am going to be using a different canvas board than comes in the kits. So these are what the kits look like. So they're just bigger canvases. These are also stretch canvases compared to the one I'm going to be using, which is a board canvas. But it does come with all the same colors. Alright? So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is get all of our supplies out. Now, you will notice that my yellow crayon is in two pieces. These are melting crayons, so these are a little bit uh, easier to snap than uh, traditional crayons. You can use traditional crayons. There's nothing really special about these. They just take a lower temperature to warm up. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is figure out what I want to do on my board. So let's say I want to do something like tie-dye-ish. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to draw out roughly where I want my colors. So let's say I want this entire spot to be green. All I'm going to do is go through coloring in like you would any other picture. You can draw a picture, you can do whatever your heart desires. Like I said, just making sure you're not putting too terribly much pressure on your crayons because otherwise they will break, which is what happened when I was doing an original uh, example with this. So this is actually take two. So just like that. And then let's say I want another one down here, just like that. You can make it as many colors and as colorful as you want to do. The more crayon, the more wax you put on there, the easier it's going to be. So don't be afraid of going it over a few times, making sure that you're not leaving any white spot uh, showing through. Like I said, there's nothing special about these crayons. They're just a little bit um, easier to break. And you can always go back and add more wax as needed. Which is actually what makes this melt. Alright, so I'm going to go back up to this one and just color a little bit more. Once you learn how to do this, it's super, super simple. Alright, so let's say that's how I want to do that. And then I'm going to come in with some purple... Like that. Trying not to break my crayon. Now the good thing about crayons specifically is if you get it onto your table or anything, all you need is hot water. Oop, there goes my crayon. All you need is hot water to uh, get it off of any surface. Fun tip for parents out there listening. Um, let's just do a weird little like cloud shape down here. It's almost easier when they're broken too because then you're not trying to focus on not breaking them. It's also a good project to do if you have a whole bunch of broken crayons out there. Alright, let's do... It's going to be very 90s Taco Bell vibes. I know none of you were alive back then, but it's definitely the colors that they had. 
going for them. wonder why I always turn my canvas. I'm left-handed, so it makes it a little bit easier for me to not have to reach across. Um, get my hand all colored and stuff. So I'm always forever turning things. For this one, I'm just going to pre-break my crayon because since I've broken almost every single other one of them, I'm going to go ahead and come in here. I'm just going to do some orange. here with my red. You don't have to do yours this messy or with all your colors or however you want to do it. This is one of my favorite projects because you really have as much freedom as you want with it. Now that you have the whole thing colored, let's go ahead, we'll plug in our hair dryer and we'll go ahead and warm things up a little bit and you guys can see how it looks like melted. Alright, and so once you are completely melted your painting, what you can do is you can take acrylic paint and paint something over this so to create like a background for it. Um, you can melt more crayons on it. You can go back in if you wanted to once it's cooled down and add a little bit more. While it's still hot, you can kind of put on a little bit more of a layer to it if some of your colors got smeared off. Okay. So this is our project for today. So I hope you guys enjoy, have fun with it, be careful. Um, and I will see you guys in next week's video. Have a great day, guys. Bye.